What's going on guys? So I'm going to show you my drop meter that I built. Uh, I'm going to get it on my test bench where I'm going to leave it to help display. Uh, as you can hear, see here in the larger picture, it will display my watts, my voltage. Now this is a 120 amp or 120 volt one that I built. Uh, it's my first one and I plan on building two more for my 240 volt to leave on the wall. Uh, I'm not going to go through the entire build process if you guys ever watch Space Goats. He has a video here which I'll link in the description of how he puts it together. Uh, very good video. Pretty much what you'll do is take the black hot wire, put it through here, through the loop, and then into the outlet, and then wire up the rest of the outlet, and then tap off the outlet and wire this onto the other side here to power the actual drop meter. Uh, not too bad to set up. Uh, as far as the box, you can see in his, and I'll show you mine. Um, he cut this one, but there's also ways you can 3D print them. I 3D printed mine. I did 3D printed the box and the and the lid for it. And I'll show you guys that in a few seconds. And then you can just get a regular generic outlet like this. This is a 10 pack, and I can link this in the description also. And I'll link the uh, actual meter that I use in the description. Which is, uh, this is a different link, but it's the same meter. Uh, what I ordered was a different buying link for some reason, but that's out of stock. So I'll link this one since it's the exact same one. Um, it's just a different brand. I use Drock. This one's a slightly different brand, but they, they should be the same thing. So I'll link that. And then this on mine, I actually cut this like straight across and I just a little bit here and I put a nut in it and same here, cut this like straight across with my angle grinder just to fit it inside the box. Uh, otherwise it didn't fit correctly, it kind of overhung a little bit. But I'll try to open up mine and show you guys that just a little bit. But I will link this meter. This is pretty much exactly what I made. It's a different company but one, it looks exactly the same and two, it's probably made by the same person just rebranded so i'll link this in there so you guys can check it out and i'll link the outlets too and then i'll put the this video link in the description of where he actually built it this is the one that i followed but i'll go ahead and we'll show you guys the actual meter and then get it plugged in all right so here's my meter this is the one that i built now i don't have this lid screwed on yet so let's crack it open a little and I'll show you the inside of it so you can see how these tucked wires in you can see there the black wire fed through it and I just tied the thing in a knot at the bottom so it doesn't come through the hole and then you see it wired in right there uh, I'll tuck that away before I plug it in because it looks like they're touching and I kind of just tucked the wires down below and I will get a couple screws to put in to, to really secure it but that's the meter in the inside of it. Uh, next thing I want to do, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Is I'll get it plugged in. And I was thinking about either mounting it here, but then it's pretty close. But I could push this back just a tad and then have my box here. And then when I do benchmark videos and get all these graphics cards off of this, which I do plan on doing, I plan on getting every single one of them off of this, uh, except for probably my 3060 right here, since that needs that dummy plug and onto that PCI slot to run, but I have my 1660 Ti, 3070, 2060, and 1070, or I think this was the 1660 Ti, that's the 2060 down there, but I'll get them all into my mining basement and get them mining down there. Uh, and then this can get cleaned up some, so I don't have so many wires running around. I do need to order more of these from GPU risers. Uh, I have more GPUs coming that I'll need to get on better risers like that. I don't want to keep using my old ones. My old one, as you can see down here, on my 1070, it's PCI powered, which I want to get away from. I'm going to get them all onto uh, risers like these that are powered by six pin. Uh, as you can see in the back there, if I get under, you can see the six pin power on that one with the splitter. And right now, this is my watt meter uh, that I'm using currently, which works fine if you want to use it. I'm running like 610 watts on this rig, but I do like this drop one. It wasn't too hard to build. It probably cost me about $25 in parts. 
Uh, so I'm gonna get this back together and get it plugged in and get it on the rig and then we'll check it out. All right, it's plugged in now. You can see it's got power. Uh, the PC isn't on, so we'll turn that on and I will get remoted in. So we'll go over to here. It should yep, kick on right away. Immediately see the power and the watts right there going up. So the meter looks like it is working properly. So that's good now. I did replace these screws for this. It's still a little finicky when I plug in and out. So you, you can't just put pressure on it like normal. Uh, you just put light pressure to get it in. It should go in and out of the outlets uh, fairly simply. So over here, I got my remote access set up. It'll probably take a few seconds to boot up and be able to, to access it. And then we'll see what it's at while it's mining. We saw it was at like 600 and some before. Now it's at 180 something right now, probably still loading some things in, uh, especially all the drivers and overclocks for these. Looks like the overclocks haven't set yet because the fans aren't spinning. So we'll give this a few seconds to boot up and then get remoted in and get the miner started. So three and five something now, all my fans have kicked on. Uh, so the overclocks are set. My miner's still building the DAG here, uh, but I got my overclocks, my curves set for my, that's, that's my curves for my 1660 Ti, I believe. And then looks like it's building up but we're still at looks like we're at 614 610 so it's pretty much identical as far as where it was with this so it looks like it's working well uh so that's pretty good but you can see the box and then you can see down there space goats uh he's the one that designed the plate that i 3d printed so he was not kind enough to share that so I could print my own. And then you could get like nuts and stuff to lock this instead of tying a knot like I did, but tying a knot works just as well. But 615 watts across this entire rig. Uh, and like I said, I do plan on getting this out of my office. And then I don't know if I want to mount this like right here and then push this rig back a little bit um, or just leave it sit on the table like this. I could just screw it to the table right here uh, and always have it here. Maybe I'll screw it so that I can get an angle for a webcam for it. Um, have like a, either a webcam here and just have it on the table here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Time will tell, but it looks like we are mining. So we're pretty much where we are going to be as far as power usage. So it looks like we're sitting between 610 and 615 on this rig. So my meter appears to be working. The voltage is correct. The Hertz is correct. I'm running about 5.3 amps, which is close to my amp. This this does have an amp readout, which it's plugged into, but I also have my computer on it, which is using power and some other stuff. So that's reading eight amps. This is reading 5.3 is which, what this rig is pulling on its own, which sounds about right with at 610, 615 watts. Um, and then it will calculate my kilowatt usage now I do plan on getting two more of these and installing them on my 30 amp uh, breakers in my basement. Uh, so I'm gonna get them ordered probably relatively soon and get them installed as quickly as I can. Uh, this one took me a little bit while to build, but it's finally up and running. Uh, but thanks for checking this video out. Uh, make sure you check out Space Goats if you plan on building one of these on your own. Um, you know, I'll have the links in the description for everything, but thanks for checking this out. I just wanted to show you guys my my new meter box I finally built. I know it's not new to everyone, but it's new to me. But then check this out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.